everyone talks about filters. Ah. Ouch. Well, I want to talk about the IRL in real life filters. Proxar filters for Hasselblad. Me. Hello, it's me. I'm Stephen Allen. How are you doing today? Hit the subscribe button if you use filters and let me know if you prefer the ones that are analog or digital. Proxar filters. This is B57, which means Bay 57, Bay 50, meaning that I can put it on this 80 millimeter lens for the Hasselblad. You can use these Proxar filters with the lens hood, so that's nice. You don't have to choose. They are Carl Zeiss, and I have the 0.51 and two. So with this 80 millimeter lens, I can focus up to about three feet. It looks like I can go just under three feet. That's as close as I can get. But with these, I can go a bit closer. Close, close. And they come in this nice little set so that I'm able to keep them all together. Pull one off like this. Boom, boom. And I can take my lens hood off, put this on like so, and then attach this on top, and we're good to go. You can't even really tell that it's on there, but it is on there. But you can also use them together. You can put all three on, you can put two on, you can put one on. But I decided to take some photos of this SpaghettiOs can. I actually did a YouTube Shorts video, which is a little short video, like a TikTok type of video with this. You can check that out, link below. So we can look into that now, and I'm shooting this as my product photography because there's some fine print on the back so we can check out the colors we can check out the fine print to see if you can get it sharp what the image looks like and i am using my p20 phase one p20 digital back because um it's a lot easier for me to deal with i don't have to develop the film and I can see the results right away. So I have to be kind of a ways away. So I'm shooting at ISO 400, white balance is auto, and 1 125th 1 at 2.8. It came through. Let's try it again, just for safety. Looks like I can get to about right here, which is a bit closer. Actually, it's a lot closer. So it looks like this is kind of as close as I can get. I like to line up the words in the front so it looks a little neater. You don't have to, but I just kind of like for it to look neat. Opened up Lightroom. Let's go back to the front here. So this image right here is of the SpaghettiOs can. I didn't use any filters at all and I was just trying to focus and I don't know how I'm really off with this focus, but you can see that we're clearly off. It looks like the, no, everything is out of focus. I was like, maybe the cans, I mean the candles, no. Everything is out of focus. This one's a bit better with the focus, but it's still off. And then you can't read anything on the can. But this was, around three feet away. Uh, and that's the minimum focusing distance for an 80 millimeter lens. So this one, I was using the 2M Proxar filter. And you can see I was focusing on the S, but the G and the H are pretty much in focus. The center of the can, but I was focusing for this side of the can. I, I don't know why I really chose that. Next time I will try to aim at the center, but I just thought, oh, I just need to pick a focusing point, but I wasn't thinking about the can is round, so the center is going to be closer to you than the sides. Uh, I don't think I ever will fit in, not here. You know, it's a learning experience. I got these Proxar filters a few last year. I got these Proxar filters last year, but because that was a whole global situation, I didn't really go out and use them. So we're still testing, we're still figuring it out. But you can see the red is very vibrant, the blue is vibrant. You have that green here on the side. I like the color, it's not really messing with the colors. This is a P20 digital bag, so we're not shooting with film but I wanted this to be more immediate and a learning experience because if I shot this with film, you would see all those photos out of focus and you know, let's go digital for that. And then once we are really comfortable, then we can do that stuff with film. But anyway, this is the 2M. Let's check at the back. And you can see that the center of the can is not in focus. I didn't refocus after I turned the can around 
and I wasn't factoring for putting the can in a different position after turning it around, but whatever. It looks like this part of the can, not in the dead center and not at the far edge. Although it looks like the far edge is kind of in focus here for some reason. In later photos that we'll see, it looks like the far edge is not in focus and in between the center and the far edge, it is in focus. Yeah, so let's keep going. This is just a duplicate. You can read the ingredients. I do have other videos on this Chanel about the Hasselblad 500CM and this Phase 1 P20 digital back. You know, it's on this channel, so subscribe and watch the videos. It's in the card, it's in the description. You should not only subscribe to this Chanel, this channel, but also my other channel because I have many videos over there. Here, we're talking about, you know, cameras, Hasselblad. We talk about other things. We talk about a lot of stuff. But over there, we are talking about game shows right now. We watched a few different game shows. Wheel of Fortune. I'm different from the guys in this town. Family Feud. So you want to check that out. It's a fun time. Everyone likes game shows. So subscribe here, subscribe over there. Thank you. Do you. You're the GOAT. This next one is the 1M, and we're just completely out of focus for this. I was trying to focus on this S, but oh well, and the back of the can is crazily out of focus. It looks like this you can kind of see on the edge, but it's just out of focus. This one should be the 0.5. I was focusing on this S, and this G and this H are blurry because I wasn't focusing on the center of the can. And then this, you can see the center, it looks to be in focus. You can really see this is very sharp. I actually really like the look of this. And then the sides are not in focus, which is interesting because I was focusing on that S, which is around this area here. And that's not in focus, but this is the center. Maybe it's just how I turned the can around and where it ended up sitting. So this one should be the 0.5 and you can see the S is in focus, what I was focusing on, and the G and H are blurry. And for this, the dead center is not in focus, but it looks like between the dead center and the edge, it is more in focus on either side. And this is when I started blending. I did the 2M and the 1M together. Again, focusing on that S. The G and H don't look that bad but it is a little blurry in the center. Again, we see that between the center and the edge, it is in focus, but it's not as drastic as before. And then this one, I was using the 2M and the 0.5 filter together, focusing on the S again. This looks like a dead pixel, but I noticed that those dead pixels will show up and then go away with Lightroom. If you use phase one's software, you don't have that issue at all, but I can't get phase one on an iPad, I don't think. And I kind of like using an iPad just to like check this kind of stuff out. So again, that same thing between the center and the edge, it's in focus, the edges are blurry. So this one I was using all of the filters together, one, the two, and the 0.5. So you can see the S is in focus, the G and the H blurry, and it looks like the way I was holding the camera I was going from a low angle and the bottom of the can is closer to the lens than the top of the can so it looks like it's blurry towards the top. Obviously on the edges it's blurry, but this part is in focus. New Jersey. So we have that. Check out my music. Fight fire with my heart. Make me come apart. I need you Buy, play, stream, hear it now. This 80 millimeter lens here uses a Bay 50 mount. So that means this has to be Bay 50, the lens hood, the lens cover, and these Proxar filters 
have to be a 50 as well. The different lenses, depending on if it's like a 40 millimeter lens, a 50 millimeter lens, the mounts in the front could be different. So you could have a 40 millimeter lens that doesn't work with these, but you could have a 50 millimeter lens that does. You could have this 80 millimeter lens, which works with all of this. So in closing, I had some issues getting everything in focus. Focus on me. Focus, ba, ba, focus. With the proc, XR filters or just in general with my Hasselblad, I wasn't judging the focus as well as I should have. I really think it's very useful to have a digital bag when you're trying things out with film because if I shot with 120 film on this, you only get 12 shots of the square photos and you can only experiment with 12 shots. By the time I get it developed and get it scanned and look at it, I'll probably forget what I was shooting, you know, what how I shot it, like the aperture, the shutter speed, all that kind of stuff. So you have to take notes about it. But I feel like this is just easier so I can see like, okay, my focus was off. Okay, let me pay more attention to the composition. Okay, let me pay more attention to the lighting and I can get all of that squared away. And then after that, I can shoot with film if I'm interested in doing that. It kind of saves you from that frustration. I think, you know, back in the day, all you could do was shoot with film. But now that we have digital, it's like, let's blend the vintage and the modern tech but i like these things they're very useful they're nice to have because i often do want to shoot a bit closer to a subject and this allows me to do just that what's your favorite filter the plan is to post at these times on this channel three times a week monday and thursday and saturday at 4 p.m eastern standard time and at these times on my other channel. Two times a week, Tuesday and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see. Again, we'll see. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up and do something to the bell. Tap it. So you can unlock those post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Visit my website, Perlin.com, where you can see my art, my music, my store, my blog, my merch, my clothing, and all of that good stuff and more. And until next time, take a little time to make art and be brilliant. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. I just kind of like for it to look neat. You could just throw this in your bag and it's pretty solid. I like that. You can see. See? We can see.